Hello everyone welcome to unlock maths today we are going to discuss general method for finding particular integral yes we know that we have linear differential equation of higher order and with constant coefficients of this form where x is the function of x right yes we have seen six different cases for finding pi depending on this x right if x is not given in the form of six cases which we have discussed in earlier lectures then pi should be obtained by this general method right we have yes we know that we have formula for pi right so by general method what we have to do first we have to reduce this f of d in linear factors so that let f of d is reduced in linear factor this is d minus m then how to apply this is here yes how to solve this operation here what we have to do yes here we have to write down e raised to mx in integration this is e raised to minus mx and this x here and this integration with respect to x yes similarly if we have this f of d as this linear factor d plus m then how to operate this on this function of x yes we have to write down here e raised to minus mx in integration this is e raised to mx this function x and this is integration with respect to x right so yes in this way we have this formula for general method right when we have this is 1 upon d minus m yes here we have to write down e raised to mx then in integration here we have to write down e raised to minus mx x and this integration with respect to x similarly here we have when we have this is 1 upon d plus m here we have to write down e raised to minus mx and in integration here we have this is e raised to mx right and this x as it is and this integration with respect to x so yes now this this general method formula yes we can apply when we have x is of this type this tan of ax sin of e raised to x then sec of ax e raised to ax upon this is x raised to m yes when we have x is of this type we have to apply general method for finding pi so here we have to note down that this f of d should be reduced in linear factor only then we can apply this general method now let if we can write this f of d in linear factor as yes then how to apply this general method formula here yes what we have to do here we have to apply this linear factor 1 by 1 on this given x that means first if we apply this factor on this x yes here we have to write down by using general method formula right then we will get new x and that new x we have to operate by using this factor yes so that we will get required pi right now if we write this f of d by using partial fraction then we also can use this general method formula for finding pi as given here so here 
we have write down this 1 upon f of d by using partial fraction and we can separately apply this linear factor on this given x. So yes, by using general method formula, we will get here this required pi. So yes, here we have to apply this two linear factor one by one on this x and when we can write this one upon f of d by using partial fraction method, we can use we can apply this 1 upon f of d separately on this x by this way, right? So here we have to use general method formula separately on this x so that we will get required pi. So in this way we can proceed for general method formula for finding pi. Yes, so let's know how to apply this formula here. So yes, if we have to find pi for this differential equation by using general method. So yes, first we will write down formula for pi. Then we will put this value of f of d and x here. So f of d is this d minus 2 and x is here e raised to 3x. Yes, we know we can solve this is by using case. Yes, how to solve this is here by using this case. We have to replace this d is equals to a. So yes, what is the pi by using this case here? We have to replace yes. So we have this pi, right? So yes, so by using general method formula, yes, we have to see here what will be pi. So yes, what is the formula? Here we have 1 upon d minus 2. So here we will write down e raised to this is twice x. In integration we will write down e raised to minus 2x. And this x is here, x is here e raised to 3x. Right? And this integration with respect to x. So here we have on simplification here we have yes. This is plus right so yes what is the integration of this is this is e raised to x right so here we have e raised to 3x and let's check here we got pi this is e raised to 3x which we got here by using this case right so in this way we have to apply general method formula so yes now let's proceed for one another example here we have this differential equation right so yes first we will find cf for cf we need auxiliary equation and this is given by this f of d is equals to 0 right so yes we can write we can factorize this is in this form so here we have yes now we can check that how the roots roots are real and equal right then what is cf this is c1 plus c2x e raised to minus 3x yes so yes here we have find this cf now we have to find pi so what is pi we have this formula yes so we will write down this f of d and x here. Now we can check that here we cannot apply any of case 6 right. Yes though this function is look like this x is equals to e raised to ax into x raised to m but this is not similar with this one because here we have m is positive integer right. And when we take this 1 upon x cube in numerator here we will have negative index. So this is not of this type right. So that means here we have to apply general method formula. So for applying general method formula yes we have to write down this f of d in linear factor right. So yes we have write down this is in linear factor. So now one by one we have to apply this on this x. So first we will apply first factor. Yes. Now how to apply this is here. Here we have 
in denominator we have d plus 3 so yes here we have to write down e raised to minus 3x in integration here we have to write down e raised to 3x and this x as it is in integration with respect to x right so this 1 upon d plus 3 as it is this e raised to minus 3x now in integration we can check that yes this get cancelled so here we have 1 upon x cube and we know we can find this integration yes here we have find integration of this is here so yes on simplification we can take this minus 1 by 2 outside so here we have this new x here right now again we have to apply this 1 upon f of d on this x so yes how to apply this is now here again here we have in denominator here we have d plus 3 factor so here we will write down e raised to minus 3x in integration e raised to 3x and this x as it is yes on simplification this get cancelled and here we have integration of x raised to minus 2 so yes how to find this integration here yes by using this formula here we have x raised to minus 1 upon minus 1 and on simplification we got here this minus minus get plus this is e raised to minus 3x and this is upon x so yes we got a required pi by using general method formula and at last we have to write down solution y is equals to cf plus pi so cf we have find So yes, we have find solution for given differential equation by general method formula. So yes, we have to remember how to apply this formula. Yes, when we have f of d, first we have to reduce that is in linear factor, right? And when we have this linear factor, we have to apply in this way. When we have 1 upon d minus cm, when we have linear factor in yes we have to write down e raised to mx in integration e raised to minus mx this x as it is and this integration with respect to x same for this factor right and here we have to note down that when x is of this type which is not included in six cases at that time we have to apply this general method formula yes yes here we also should note down that this general method formula we can also use for function which is included in six type of cases right so yes in this way we have seen how to apply this general method formula so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching